Big game at Homestead, but would it be worth the wait? 16-2 Spartans hosting 16-2 East Noble. This game was supposed to be played Tuesday night. They had to wait today, and in the third quarter, that's Brent Cox with the Knights down by seven. Alec Grinsfelder going the other way, two of his 13. Later, it's junior Zach Kruger with the bucket. The junior, a game-high 20 points. Later in the third, you're going to see Michael Bender pop the three here for the Knights, but Homestead up 38-30 heading into the fourth. Kruger would help put away the Knights. The Spartans win their 17th game of the year. It's Homestead 49, East Noble 44. I think it's our defense. Zach Batmiller is doing a good job of shutting down their, their key players on offense. And, you know, we're, we're finding our shooters on offense, and we're just gelling really well together right now. I think the best thing we're doing is just execution. We're following the game plan, and we're just executing plays really well, and that's what we're good at. Yeah, we played a uh, great defense. Alec Grinsfelder came in and played great defense. Xavier Overstreet contributed, and we just played team basketball tonight. East Nobles at Wabasi on Friday. Homestead travels to Carroll. That will be your Highlight Zone game of the week. At Bishop Dwanger, the surging Saints hosting an up-and-coming Leo team. Second quarter, we pick it up here. We pick it up with the big guy, Jared Lee, going coast-to-coast. -coast, two of his 14 there. Dwanger up by 15. Leo's Andrew Koch pops the triple, but the Lions down big at the half. Third quarter, you'll see Brendan Lytle drain a three. He had 16. Matt Kachansky actually led the Saints with 21 as Dwanger wins at 67-54. to 54.